What's up, y'all? It's your girl Tweet back with another B. Okay, honey. Period. Today I did a pink shimmery cut crease for you guys. If you like this look, then please keep on watching. So I have already moisturized my face, and lately I've been using this eye cream. The L'Oreal Eye Defense. And I think it's working pretty good, but I'm gonna give it a little more time to see if I like it for real or not. And on my lips, I have the NYX Bear With Me Essential Oils. I love it. Moisturization is key to a beat face. Okay, so make sure you are taking time out to take care of your skin so you can have a nice foundation for your foundation. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get right into brows. I'm gonna set my eyes with my P. Louise face in number two. You wanna make sure that it's nice and even and nice and blended. For the first shade, I'm gonna go into this pink color from Juvia's Place. The next shade I'm gonna go to is Simsa from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy palette, which is like a deeper pink than the one from the Zulu palette. I'm gonna go over that Simsu back with the color from the Zulu palette. And do you see the difference that adding the dark shade gave us? And that's the key when you're trying to layer your crease darker in your most inner part of your crease. And as it goes up to your brow bone, it gets lighter. Where is my mind at? Why would I go and put that dark color above the light color? It's okay. Just gonna wipe it off a little bit. And we're gonna go back over it with the brush that we used to put on the color from the Zulu palette. And in one second, it's gonna be brand new. It's okay to make mistakes as long as you fix them. And most things we make up 
are flexible because it's makeup. You can manipulate it. All right, so we're gonna go right back in that crease with Simsa in the right spot this time. Without adding any more product, I'm going to blend out that color up into the brow. Alright, so now we're going to cut this crease and get into our shimmer shades. And the key is, you see where your eyeballs are? The key is to cut above the last fold so when you open your eye, it doesn't mess up and smudge, it stays sharp. And you want to drag that out into that darker color so it can blend better. Now for the other eye. Let's get it done, baby. I really cannot sing, but I try anyway. Another key is to take your time because you cannot rush greatness. It just can't be done. Now, with time, you will be able to do certain things faster. But if you're learning how to do something, take your time so it can come out looking Flawless. I'm really in a good mood today. Y'all probably can tell from that my energy is like a little more up there from my other videos. But I guess I'm just feeling really comfortable today. And I'm really like in my bag. Because I did my makeup the other day. If you follow me on Instagram, you know. And when I say... The face and the eyes were blended to perfection, honey. It is not an overstatement, okay? But we gonna get into it today. Let's go back in with Simsa from the, um, what's this girl name? Amrezy palette to blur out those edges on the crease. Blur, 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 blur. And I'm gonna grab a smaller brush to go back into the pink from the Zulu palette and go right there, kind of on top of it. And blur, 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 blur. When Juvia said most pigmented eyeshadows in the world, they weren't playing. Cause honey, I barely tapped into the pen. And it's just, it's coming off so good, so rich. I love it. Boom, boom, boom. You wanna keep going back in to make sure those edges are blended out, honey. Do not skip steps. Do not skip steps. The next shade is Anastasia from the 
and Breezy palette. This is really cute. I cannot really tell. These are very pigmented as well. But they do have a little bit of fallout. The Anastasia palettes. And they're also high. So that's it. We're just gonna go right on top of that lid where we already sit, where we have cut our crease. We're gonna go right in and pick that all over, blend it into that pink shade from the Zulu palette. Oh. Boom, boom. Cute little shimmer. Very light, airy, dusty. And on top of that, I'm gonna go into barb a little bit. It's a little bit more like a shine. Wasted is a little more dusty, but it brought that lightness that we needed. I'm gonna do mascara, lashes, and eyeliner off camera, and I'll be right back to do the face. Okay, so for face today, I'm gonna use my Fenty Soft Matte Primer. Primer is also very important. And it's also a part of setting the base for your makeup. I'm gonna go in with the, my Juvia's Place Foundation today. And I am in the shade Tanzania, which is 205. For anybody that needed a reference. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with these two Juvia's Place concealers in the shade 12 and 15. I'm gonna use the lighter shade right up under my eye to give it that extra boost. And I'm gonna go in with my regular concealer shade around that and it's gonna help it blend into my foundation better. And my contour is in the shade 4. This is actually very dark. So you probably can go down a few shades. Which would be up a few numbers because I started one with their darkest shade. But yeah, I would say you could go like a few shades lighter. If you don't want your contour that deep. This one is deep, deep. I'm gonna start blending out my contour first. Let my concealer dry down a bit first. Make sure you always blend your contour upwards and not down because you want your face to look lifted and not droopy. Okay. Now we are going to proceed to blend this concealer out. Blend the concealer out really good because you do not want any harsh lines under the contour. You want that to look like a gradient as you can see here. That when you carve it out, this just like gives it a little extra razzle dazzle, okay? That extra, ooh, make somebody look twice at the cheek, honey. I'm also gonna go in with my foundation brush and diffuse this forehead because sometimes it can, you know, give you a little harsh line up there.
and diffuse you do not want to bring that concealer out too far so if you see that it just keep going and going and going don't keep blending and blending and blending grab your little foundation brush and diffuse diffuse then blend again and so you get your desired look so now my under eye is one of my problem areas so i have to be very careful with this like you want to make sure that i those creases you see those creases you want to make sure that they are blended out you want to make sure you do not set those creases into place because later on you're not gonna like it now we're looking very mad ladies on this side we're looking very much mad Now I'm gonna go into my Mocha Mommy bronzer and set the contour and bronze a little bit. I have to get some more blushes, y'all, but for now we're gonna go in with the usual MAC Fever Blush. Get those cheeks rosy. Next, I'm going to go into highlighter and I'm using the Royalty One by Julius. I'm also going to go into my Diamond Balm from Fixie because this stuff. It just adds like a type of shine to your face, as you will see in my video. I love this. I have the mini version right now because it's out of head and stock. But when I run out, I will be purchasing um, the big one. For lips, I'm gonna line my lips with a brown lip liner and then go in with my B. Simone Beauty Lip Gloss and B. Simone Tone. And lastly, for setting spray, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is one of my favorite setting sprays because your makeup will not move. When they say All Nighter, this is what they mean. All right, y'all, so this is the finished look. I think we can all agree and say that this face is slayed, period. They blend immaculate <laughs> let me stop playing but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope that you come back for more don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also share this with your friends thank you bye mm -hmm.